Ready? I'm not the end. I'm writing them down. Well, you can write those down in a second. I just want to go over this problem real quick for you. So, <clears throat> for this problem, what it asks us is to evaluate our trigonometric functions when given a point T, where T is at the measure of 3 pi over 4. All right? So a couple things we need to remember. Remember, T represents a point on our unit circle. So first thing we need to do is find out where is our point T. And to do this, we need to remember um, where we're going to start. We're going to start on our y-axis, or on our x-axis. We're going to start right here. That's what we call our initial side. So then what I need to do is I need to figure out, well, where is 3 pi over 4? Remember, guys, a, ra a radian is our radius wrapped around a circle. So that's like one radian, two radians, three radians, and then halfway around is 3.14159 dot 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 radians, which we just call pi. Then going all the way around will give us 2 pi, right? Yep. So what I want to do, though, is they have it as a fraction. So they're saying, like, 3 fourths of pi. Well, where exactly, you know, is that? Well, remember my tip that I told you guys to do is whenever you have your denominator 4, I want to rewrite pi as 4 pi over 4. I'm not changing it. All I'm doing is just writing it in a different form because 4 pi over 4 is the same thing as pi. The 4s will cancel out. But the reason why I do this is now I want to segment this part, half of the circle, into fourths. So I'll cut that in half, and I'll cut that in half. So therefore, I know that this is pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and 4 pi over 4. Make sense? Then you could do the same on the bottom. 5 pi, 6 pi, 8, or 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, right? Same thing. Okay, well obviously this helps us out because it shows us our answer, right? And our answer is right here. Here's our point T. Now, we need to figure out what are the coordinate points. So to evaluate the function, we need to figure out what is the coordinate points. Now, I showed you last class period by using our special triangles of the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, we can figure out what this coordinate point is right here. Yes? Sure, go ahead. I want to know what this point is because I only told you guys. That one's radical 2 over 2 over another radical 2 over 2. Right, exactly. And then with the answer, you just negative radical 2 over 2 and positive radical 2 over yep. 2. Yep, exactly. Now, the way that, the reason why Tamara got that was here, you can do it two ways. One, you can just memorize it. All right. The other way is we know that pi over 4 is the same thing as 45 degrees. Why do you know it's 45 degrees? Well, I cut this in half, right? So 45 and 45 will give you 90. So pi over 4, 1 fourth is half of, you know, 1 half. Okay, so this is halfway. Well, if I was going to grade a 45, 45, 90 triangle, what we did was by using special triangles, we understood that if that's 1, this was square root of 2 over 2, and this length was square root of 2 over 2. So the coordinate point is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2, where this is your x and this is your y. Well, this angle is just a reflection of that point across my y um, axis. So therefore, my x coordinate is now negative. So our coordinate point is a negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. So if you guys look up here, remember sine of my t tells me to find what is the y coordinate. So sine of t, what is the y coordinate for this? It's going to be square root of 2 over 2. Cosine is the x coordinate. Negative square root of 2 over 2. Right? Tangent is going to be your y coordinate over your x coordinate. That's negative 1. So it's square root of 2 over 2 divided by negative square root of 2 over 2. Well, yes, these are exactly the same number. I know they're fractions, they look crazy, but it's the same thing as like 5 divided by negative 5, right? They're the same thing. So you can just cancel them out and say they equal negative 1. All right? Um, I kind of lost some space here. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So it's going to be 1 over square root of 2 over 2. Isn't that cosecant of t, though? Yes, of t. Thank you. I'm getting a little x happy, right? So it's cosecant of t, which is 1 over this. So to do this, you have to multiply by the reciprocal, right, to get your fraction off the bottom. Yeah. So I multiply by 2 over radical 2. That cancels the 1, 
And then here, I'm left with 2 over radical 2, because that went over to 1. Now, we cannot have a radical on the bottom. So now you have to rationalize the denominator. And now my 2's cancel out. So isn't that fun? Look at all that math you guys get to do. Okay, do you guys follow my steps? First thing, just multiply by the reciprocals. And I get 2 radical 2. Rationalize your denominator. And then simplify. Now here's the cool thing though. Secant of t is going to be 1 over the negative of that. It's the same number, right? It's just negative. Correct? Does everybody see that? Yeah. It's just 1 over negative square root of 2 over 2. I'm not going to do all that math again. I, it's going to be the exact same thing. So the answer I know is going to be negative square root of 2. It's the same numbers, it's just negative. Right? So you can simplify it a little bit. Um, and then tangent, if you guys notice, now tan or cotangent is again going to be the same thing as tangent, except it's just the negatives on top. So save yourself some math and a little bit of your mental power by just noticing, oh, that's the same thing as tangent. It's going to be negative one. Right? It's a difference of you know five divided by negative five and negative five divided by five. It's the same answer. They're both equal to. You know, it's the same thing. It's both equal to negative one. Okay? Save yourself a little mental power. Look for numbers or angles that are exactly the same. Cool? Mm -hmm. Yep.